Hi guys, I thought I'd jump on and share with you my pillow cover lineup for my living space this fall. Um, we're going to begin with, I'm going with earth tones this year that can easily roll right into um, the winter holidays with just a few tweaks. And what you see here, I have them laid out on my bed. <laughs> this is how I get my idea of how I'm going to actually form these on my sofa and love seat. This first one you see here is going to be the pattern that's going to be on my love seat, on the sofa, I'm sorry. And my sofa is this really, this color gray here. So as you can see, everything is going to flow perfectly together. The larger uh, pillow covers here, these linens, these are 26 by 26. This is 26 by 26. This tweed, which is really, really pretty. I love this earth tone. This is 26 by 26. This one, it is so soft. It's really pretty, you guys, and soft. This is also a 26 by 26. This tweed is a 22 by 22. I began to drop the size down for in the middle. And for each one of these, you guys, uh, it's I purchased two of each. I have several of these, actually, but for the new ones, uh, there are two of each because I do have a love seat. And for the small section, I'm going to use the linen army green. The camera's not really picking it up, but it's a really pretty green lumbar pillow. And I actually purchased four of these. So you guys hang in there with me. You will see how all this is going to come together. Here, another tweed. 26 by 26, this pretty brown, and they're actually really, really soft. This is another one of the green lumbar. This is the crushed velvet. I've had these for quite a while, and I think I have four of those, but they're not all coming out at the same time. And here, this is the second one to this one. And that's how the love seat is going to be laid out. And you're probably wondering why you have so many 26 by 26. Because if you've watched any of my videos when I've done the living room, I explain the depth and size of my living room furniture. Uh, yeah. To put anything smaller than a 26 by 26 for the back, it, it wouldn't look right. It wouldn't be sized right because of the way the sofa's made. Okay. Come around here. I'm trying not to shoot. I'm in my bedroom, so it's not clean. <laughs> it's not tidy, rather. It's clean. It's just not tidy. Um, these are the ones that I'm going to be putting on my bed. Uh, this is the coverlet that uh, I purchased several months ago with the um the weave pattern on it but these are the euro shams i'm going to be putting across my bed they are natural linen real pretty and it's four of these and uh each one of them have the hidden zipper i can get it to show you you get it the hidden zippers okay it's four of those because I have a Cali King. So the four, it would be luxurious enough to put four across. I also have that same hunter green or army green rather euros for the bed. I'm gonna have two of these. So it's gonna be four, then the two no, I actually have one more. I'm sorry. It's three of these. It's another one over there somewhere. So it's going to be four, three, 
and then two of the Sherpa pillows in the front. And this feels absolutely amazing. It does. So that's the lineup for my bed. And of course, I'll still be using this particular coverlet. Yeah, these are really nice, you guys. And I will link down in the description box because, yeah, everything on this bed came from Amazon. A lot of these were purchased during Prime. But when I went back on, even after Prime, the prices were still really, really good. So, remember, four across, three across, and then two. This setup here will be on the sofa. This setup will be on my love seat. So, if you're interested in seeing how all this is going to come together along with all the other decorations that I'm going to be doing for fall leading into winter, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss when I get ready to upload these videos. I want to thank you all for all of your love and support. I appreciate it. I appreciate your patience. But life happens. And life happens for a reason. So, that's the end of this video, you guys. I just want to give you a quick peek. And, uh, actually, hold on. Let me go in the other side of the house and show you the rest. Hold tight. Okay, guys, this haul is... I guess the whole video will be considered a little different for what I normally do, but... These are some pieces that I purchased um, during several of the walkthrough videos I've done, and some I've even purchased before then. But instead of me getting on camera and going through piece by piece, they're already on the table, so we're just going to go around the table <laughs> so I can show you what they are. We're going to begin here with Walmart. We all have our favorite candles that burn down to the in but it's still enough in there that you don't want to throw the candle away i had a warmer but i guess i've had it so long it just would not heat up correctly anymore so i went to walmart and found this one okay it's a fragrance warmer with the ribbed glass which i'm getting back into which i'm into which i've always liked and this is how it looks. The bulb is in here. Pick it up with this hand. Very cute, very classy. Can level up any decor style. And of course, this is where you would put your wax. Okay. Wax up. And I think you have a temperature control, or is it just an off and on? Let's see. I'll have to read it, but I think you actually can control um, the heat. Excuse my nails, ladies and gentlemen. I will be going to a nail appointment soon. <laughs> Let's just leave it out of the box. Okay, next. This is from Amazon. I ordered a, a package of light uh, LED light strips for a project that I'm working on. Going to be working on. And this is how it comes. I'll link everything that I can down in the description box. Comes with the remote control. And this is how it's packaged and if I'm not mistaken with all the uh, attachments I don't remember how many yards this actually is but again it'll be down in the description box if you're interested in lighting strips 
they don't necessarily always have to be for under cabinet okay this next item is from amazon i like buying my reed diffusers from amazon sometimes this one is a clean linen and with them guys sometimes it can be a hit or miss but i have lucked up and narrowed it down to two uh sellers on there this is one where you really get the throw from your diffuser it's not just sitting pretty you actually can smell it within a good distance okay the next one is also from amazon i purchased an oil diffuser to i think i have one other but it's really tiny and i wanted one a little bit larger this one is by jack and rose and i chose this one because of the faux marble top of course the gray body the gray ribbed body and it's really nice and it's going to pair well with a lot of the pieces i already have in my home because actually my foundational color is gray and it's not going anywhere <laughs> you know i'm a candle girl if you follow me for any amount of time i also picked up this candle sheer sandalwood it is a soy wax blend and I'm trying to see where i purchased this one from i'm sorry you guys oh this was one from ross i picked up another candle from Ross, and it is, let's see if they have the scent. This is another fresh cotton, number 25, highly fragrant candle, and it's also soy. I like soy candles because they burn cleaner and they burn slower. All right, next, I'm gonna keep moving. Uh, a while back, I had points that I needed to use with Macy's, so I purchased this Dublin. vinegar set. I don't know what's going on with me today. It's left hand. <laughs> Oil and vinegar set. And along with that, I purchased the salt and pepper shakers as well. Okay. Moving right along. I can't remember. Yes, I can. It was Kimberly. Uh, a blessed home with Kimberly Davis. I was watching her one day and she pulled these out. And I was like, I'm not big on um, these jars, but that color palette and that color combination, yes, I have to find them. And it was a while, quite a while before I even come, came across them. Cause I actually kind of had forgotten about them. I had other things going on and happened to walk in home goods one day and there they were like, hello, you forgot about me, we're still here. <laughs> so I got the larger one. I love this color gold and gray. The gray on it is, it doesn't look like it on camera, but the gray is actually a topish gray. You know, and it, it's a really different palette on it. And I also purchased the smaller one. Next, I went by Dollar Tree for something and came across this little cute stacked pumpkin. Um, and it was only $5. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it this orange color. I'm thinking about painting it. And I probably will. This is a Ross fine. I'm moving a little bit slow with you guys today because I have taken my medication and I feel it kicking in. So I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. This is just an XMP uh, uh, storage jar that I'm gonna use in my bathroom to store some personal items. Moving right along to this fella. I have been on a hunt for this specific horse, and I'll leave a picture here, right there, as to the horse that I'm on the hunt for. However, in the meantime, because I am a lover of horses, I came across this one at Home Goods. 
He is solid brass. Mm. And he was $49.99. And I had to get him. I just could not leave him there. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Next, I purchased two marble knots from what is this? From Ross for $12.99. And a lot of these uh, purchases came from walkthroughs I did for you guys. I took you guys along with me to see what the stores had at a certain time. Um, and I'll link them all in the iCloud and in the description box if you want to go back and watch them. I purchased these two storage boxes, which are dupes or knockoffs of the famous or the infamous Z Gallery boxes. I did get the smaller one and the larger one. Now, this is what I really want to show you guys. A while back in, a little heavy. In Home Goods, I came across these two on the clearance. These travertine pieces. One was clearance for 15. The other was clearance for, oh, I guess I took the, the price came off. But these two travertine pieces were absolutely fabulous. I had to get them because they will, and they do coincide with the direction that I'm taking my home in as of now and continually because we're getting older and I want everything simple, streamlined, elegant, and within the class that my husband and I can really appreciate together. There. Over here on that same trip, I found this container, this vase. I liked the pattern and texture on it, and it was $25, and I thought these would pair well together. Okay, I'm gonna get ready to wind this up real quick. Now, my Hobby Lobby run. I finally found the base that I was looking for in Hobby Lobby. There is one that's larger, and I'm still on the hunt for that one, but when I saw the mini, I went ahead and got it, but I'm still looking for the larger one. I love the detailing, the pattern and texture on this base. It is absolutely gorgeous. And it's going to go well if I choose to use these, which are some greenery stems I purchased from Amazon. They come in a pack of six. It's hard for me to film and do things with one hand, you guys. So please bear with me. I do not have my tripod. I had it. I just didn't want to go through everything I would have to go through to set it up. Let me just be real. Let's keep it 100 on this channel. And I do. <laughs> okay. That's how that would look. If I chose to do it like that. But it was just really to give you an idea of how the greenery looks. And I bought a second pack. So I have a total of 12 of them to make any arrangement I decide to do for fall. Very full. Okay. All right, now we're going to move right on over to two more items, but the other three items that's in the living room that's a part of this haul. Stay tuned. From Ross, this is the brass and marble pedestal bowl that I purchased. Um, and I just have it filled with a few succulents, moss, and some lotus pods. And these are actual the real lotus pods. I love these things. It freaks a lot of people out, but I think they're really cool. But again, this is that bowl. And if I'm not mistaken, I can't remember how much it was, but I know it wasn't expensive. It was a really good deal for it. And let's go to item number two.
and that would be this desk. I did purchase it. It's a faux chagrin writing desk. This was a purchase from Ross on that trip. Please excuse all of this, guys, that's under here. That's not what the video is about. And uh, yeah, just wanted to show you the writing desk. It's very nice quality. You can see the pattern and detailing on it. It's the, you know, really great size for the corner that it's in or wherever I decide to put it. Alrighty. And the last piece, new piece rather, is this base. Let's get a little light so maybe you can see it a little better. There we go. I purchased this base from, I thought this was really cute. I love the laser cutout. Yeah. This was from Home Goods for $39.99. And I think it is really pretty. Substantial weight. And I think you guys know where everything else on my console table comes from. I've shown them in other. Oh, this is also a piece from Ross that was purchased at the same time that I purchased the desk. And this little pedestal stand, I call it a Roman pedestal stand, was $15.99. Okay. And I have, we are still digging the artwork. So, all of the storage boxes you see here, um, these were from Ross. This was a Ross marble bookend. These are faux leather chagrin uh, storage boxes from Amazon. It, they actually come in a set of three. I just have two here and the larger one is here. And I think that's it you guys. Now, let me go and show you the last and final piece to this haul. Okay, and here it is. Prime Day couldn't come fast enough for me to go ahead and pull that trigger to purchase this big troller. I am absolutely in love with this thing. I've only had the pleasure of testing out the cassette tape portion of it. Yes, it has a cassette tape, guys. <coughs> this is a true throwback. Excuse me. Power switches. Here it plays FM, CD, Bluetooth, auxiliary, phono, and tape volume. This, of course, is the stereo wheel for your channels. Here... CD player. I can go back and dig out all my CDs. <laughs> Which we have been doing. And right around the corner here, to my surprise, let's see. There's the cassette tape player. When I purchased it, I was so excited about just the overall look of it. I didn't even read actually about every single thing that this does that this piece does or has. And inside of here, if I can get it open. Uh, here we go. Here's the inside. I 
so love this piece. <laughs> Can't wait to get the albums going in the 45s just to reminisce on the sound because anybody knows if you can remember it's nothing like listening to an album the crackling the this it was just something about that sound but this is it now they had several other colors you can choose from i of course being me chose the darker wood but they had lighter wood they had gray wash they had one that was kind of farmhouse farmhouse -ish. can't even talk this morning farmhouse look um but i chose this and i'm very happy with my purchase everything that i've shown you can be found in the description box they're not expensive pieces even though amazon prime is over the actual price that the seller has on that i personally think is still worth it but i love this thing this is so so retro, mid-century modern, old school vibe. You got me. You'll get me every time. So this is the end of this video, you guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you're not a member yet, please subscribe. It helps the channel grow when you like, comment, and uh, share the video out. It'll help this channel grow really well. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for you guys. Stay woke, stay prayed up, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.